these days, just uh, two reasons. One, to kind of um, have a look at this cam my new camera, um, the tripod. And the second is to uh, try this out. And it's a. Uh, so, this is like Lick's um, LCD cleaning unit. Pan man. And, you know, really the idea is to demonstrate what it's like, really. I mean, this Mac attracts so much dirt and stuff, it's unbelievable. So, okay, well, I'll give it a go. So, this is what we get in our package and joy. We get the cleaner itself, in its uh, bottle. The spray as well. And then you get the, oh, get the microfiber cloth and the autofocus has not been playing up, which is really good actually because um, I mean, the camera itself only costs like £99. I just, from Argos, uh, I expect the camera I got originally it was a Vivitar. Well, it uh, was alright, but the picture was grainy and zoom didn't work very well, and you know, a multitude of problems. And of course, you know, last thing is the brush. <laughs> to clean away all your problems. <laughs> no. Okay, so I guess I'm going for the kill. I'm going all hardcore with the microfiber cloth. So I guess I'm just going to apply some to the screen, like so. Then you don't like an idiot. I'm just going to clean. La 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 la, spring clean. Spring. Submission music while I'm doing it. Okay, sorry about the jump cut. Um, just sorting out the. <laughs> Getting the base good clean. I mean, it doesn't. Not too bad actually. It does seem to clean quite well. It's not. Leaving new streaks as it said it would. I mean, sorry. Give me a good brush. I'm gonna actually see if I can zoom the camera in a bit there. Ah. And now the autofocus is gonna play up on me. Focus, focus, come on, focus. Focus on task at hand. And that's basically the only problem with this camera. It has a mind of its own, but. Now I'll have to. <laughs> Hope it focuses soon, but. Ah, there we go. Bingo. <laughs> so I'm just going to brush between the keys. Nasty. 
be honest, I don't know why I'm cleaning this thing, it'll clean it dirty, but to be fair, I think they were quite meant to be used a bit. FNAFL's next trick, the self cleaning laptop. I mean, it's coming out quite nicely. Got a few streaks though, but I don't know. This can't be choose for a pound. So it's just <laughs> still got a few streaks in there, but oh well. It'll just wow. Allegedly. <laughs> guess. Well. Guess that's it, I suppose. Um. Also got this next item. This is a, um, a gift box I got for myself. Ha ha ha! Yes, Christmas hat has come already. And well, it's Mission Earth Wind scented. So what the heck that is, I don't know. But Earth Wind scented. You've had your nice big fat shave, I know I need one. Uh, oh, that didn't really help, first video. You have your um, face wash too. So, that's that one. Right. I mean, to be fair, they have done, and they've done a lot better job than their usual line of tax. Um, also, I'm quickly going to show you. Um, my first off tripod uh, box and my um, camera box. So, next jump cut. Coming now. And again, back from jump cut. So, this is the box to the tripod. I don't know. I have to literally bring up the camera so that it seems to take zooming very well. Um, so for guitar, photos, video, tripod. 52 inch, 519 inch. 1.60 pounds. Uh, so, fairly light I suppose. And this thing cost me, what, 19 pounds I think? Yeah. 36 swivel, 3 way adjustable pan head. Sounds nice. Multi selection and Aluminium legs. Oh, ha ha. Not American. <laughs> Quick release leg locks. Rubber feet. Bubble leather indicator. Bit strange, but oh well. Sense column. A free carry case. And three years warranty. And it includes some cheap or Dane software called the Vivitar Experience. Which I suppose is okay, but it's just. It's like any other photo editor, really. It's just. I mean, you go for Picasso, which is probably a similar thing to what 
this software is. Um, so, you know, this... Oh yeah, this is the, um, I don't know if you can see it, that's the quick release um, thing mechanism. It's quite handy. There it is again. That's the central column. Yeah, yeah, you get the drill. I mean, I'm not, I don't pretend to be a, an expert in the uh, video camera. You can probably tell by the quality of this thing. And, uh, well, that's a bit what comes a bit disappointing. Well, um, here's a free bag. Here's a free rip. Come with a bag. <laughs> so, not sure if the camera can get but it's basically ripped, you know. So, not happy about that. Oh, well. Straight out of reach. Oh. Ah, right, there we go. Aha. So this is the camera itself. It's an Atachi, I think, Atachi 35C, I think they call it. But that's the official uh, model name. This is a keep flipping image. <laughs> so, oh well. But. Touchy generation inspired the next high definition video camera. Uh, 5 megapixel camera and 10 times optical screen. The only thing about this camera, I haven't yet worked out how people flip the image. So it um, puts the writing back the right way around. But if you've got any um, ideas, please leave. Yeah, good comment. Be nice. <laughs> ah, great. Now this autofocus wants to play up. There we go. So, instant uh, YouTube upload. Um, basically, that's full HD, 1080p. Touch screen. Yeah, touch screen isn't the most responsive thing. That Responsive thing in the world. It is a it is a uh, resistive touchscreen. So kudos on that one. Um, and ten times optical zoom, which is quite good for the price. Because my Vivitar one I had before, digital zoom, not good really. And plus it's so jittery. Um, one thing I've been always been uh, confused about. It says it's got the five megapixel sensor. Yeah, it seems to be able to do sixteen. Megapixel stills. I don't know if that's something to do with the software in the camera or something like that, but see that to show it off, don't they? <laughs> Five megapixel. Um, a few geeky ones. I'll have to, I'll have to read off all the, uh, the technical specifications. That's probably around the back here. Um, image sensor itself is five megapixels, as I said before. Focus range. 162 infinity, LCT monitor, LCT 3 inch, 16, uh, code on 9, so I guess that's the aspect ratio, touch LCD, storage media is a built in 120 megabyte memory, well it, well it lasts about 5 seconds, it's not really much point in it, but, um, oh yeah I've got a uh, memory card slot for this, so that's, you know, this will be sorted. Uh, Image resolution is 4608 times by, by 3456 16 megapixels, allegedly. <laughs> it's got your brackets. Um, slash 2592 by 1094 megapixels and 1 by 3 megapixels, so I guess that's different settings. Uh, movie, res movie resolution, it has full HD, 1080p, 30 frames per second, which is a bit, a bit jittery, really. Um, wouldn't be, I suppose, for the hardcore fan, but I am recording in full HD. But if it'll come out on YouTube like that, who knows? Uh, does 722, uh, better frame rate, uh, 60 frames per second, so, also does normal does another HD in 30 frames per second, why do you want to do that for? And VGA, you know, 
48p. Thirty seconds. Oh, they're four eighty p. I'd have thought it's still HD, and so you know, because YouTube see it being still glad for four eighty p is in it's HD. Oh, well, uh, full format is JPEG, so nothing there. And it AVI for its movie format and rechargeable battery. Um, I can't tell you how many milliamps per hour it is, but it's, C it's a CB170 battery, lithium ion, so it sounds quite good. Um, it's made in China. <laughs> no, it's Hitachi. No, well. uh, so, I mean, I don't know what you guys think of the camera. Some people say it's a bit, quite a bit, gra a bit grainy a couple of times, but to be honest, my nine pounds can't really go wrong. Oh well, well I better end this, um, just before I do, uh, one thing I've got to say is that this, uh, tripod is a bit, a bit weird, but I want to show you something a bit fun actually, um, it's got sort of like a telescopic, um, stand so it goes down. <laughs> and he goes back up again. <laughs> How's that for randomness? Alright, anyway. Until next time. Kudos. We'll see ya. Whatever. One thing I did uh, get to mention earlier is that um, the bag also comes with this nice little velvet bag, really. Um, Tarchi. Can't really say it's the most best quality velvet in the world, but bonus. <laughs>